hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time you're welcome thank you guys for subscribing to my channel i really really appreciate it so in today's tutorial i'll be teaching us how to make a baby dress it's uh the size is 9 to 12 months but it can fit up to 18 months right so i'll be making use of this acrylic yarn each strand is about um, 40 gram but i'll be doubling the strand and i'm making use of my 4.5 mm hook so i'm using my 4.5 and of course my yarn needle and my tape rule for measurement so one thing is I've started this yoke, like I've started it because I was working on my way home, so I just quickly made it so I can finish it on time. But uh, what I want to show you basically is the down part. But for this yoke part, I'm going to uh, put like a PDF or a, a Word document. I will attach it to the description or a link where you can see the written pattern I made. I hope you're going to understand. So I will do the written pattern how I achieved uh, this one. Then you can see. You can read it and see. But I'll be explaining the, the lower section of the dress, right? And if you encounter any problem, you can let me know in the comment section and I'm going to shed more light on it. Right? So let's get straight into it. So the neck of this yoke is giving me so I'm having about 4.5. I was like 4.5, which is still good for a baby neck. I show you it won't be too tight and the chest area here is giving me about let's say 10 let's say 10 and for baby if you check uh the crochet chart baby chest is usually for like 12 months is usually 20 21 depending on your baby size but this should fit a baby well this is 10 inches so that's 20 inches all together and I've made my yoke already so I'm just going to finish off uh, this round so what I'm doing here basically is just a round of double crochet into every of the stitches all the way around So I'll meet you back at the end of this round. So I've made a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And this is the 10th round. So I'll meet you back at the end of round 10. So we can now start working on uh, the bottom part of the dress. So this dress is just uh i want to gift it out <laughs> i think i'm in the era of gifting <laughs> so i'm going to gift it to a baby girl she just clocked one year old one year old sorry and like i've thought of different things to make i just feel a baby dress is going to be absolutely beautiful right so i'll be making this and i'll gift it to her so you let me know what you think in the comment section if gifting a, a baby dress is absolutely nice or what you think about it i'll be in the comment section waiting for you guys to tell me your opinion so I'll meet you back at the end of round 10. Then we can now continue from there. 
So right now I've come to the end of this round and I am just going to slip stitch into this space and there you have it. So uh, okay, so I'll just teach you how to change uh, colors because I'm using this like golden for the down part. It's going to be beautiful, trust me. So, I have my other color ready. And I'm just going to Hold it this way. So right now what I'll be doing is I'll be making four double crochet into the same stitch right here into this next stitch here I'll be putting four double crochet so yarn over and I'm going to be hiding my tails as I go so we have one we have two three and four so you can see I'll skip two skip two chains one two and into the next one I'm going to do another four double crochet together so I can drop that those ones there I'm making four double crochet together two three and four right and I'm going to skip two so I'm going to skip two one two and into the third space, I'm going to make another four double crochet together. Two. Three. And four. Skip two and into the next, make another four double crochet. One. Two. Frog, like a base here yeah? so I'll be repeating this one and I'll meet you back at the end of this round okay so right now I've come to the end of this round I've come to the end of this round and I'm making the last two double crochet two three and four okay so you can see I have two stitches left I'm going to skip that and on top of the first um, double crochet I made here right on top of this one I'm going to slip stitch so there I have it. So for this next round, I'm going to make a chain two, 
I'm going to make a chain two, a chain two, and into um, then I'll be making a front post double crochet into the first stitch. So to make your front close double crochet, you yarn over and insert, you can see, into this first one, you go right underneath it. As you yarn over, I'm going right here, that's front post, and I'm going to yarn over. You can see. Then... So I'm going to skip this next stitch, this next one, and into this middle one, I'm going to do three double crochet together, one, two, three, and I'm going to chain two, one, two, And into the same space, I'm going to put three double crochet. Into the same space, I'm going to put in another three double crochet. One, two, and three. You can see. So into this last stitch, I'm going to be doing, into this last one, I'll be doing a front post double crochet. So, I'm going to go right underneath, and yarn over, pull through, pull through two. So, so I'll be repeating this one here, that is yarn over, I'll be doing front post double crochet, so into the first stitch here, I'm going on the full through, and I'm going to skip the next stitch, and on into the middle stitch here, I'm making three double crochet together right into the middle stitch here one two and three i'm going to chain two chain two and into that same space i'm going to make another three double crochet one, two, and three. And into this last stitch, I'm going to be doing a front post double crochet. So you can see what we have right here. And I'm going to repeat this all the way around for this round that is front post double crochet into the first stitch skip the next and into the middle one make three double crochet together one two and three Sorry. Then chain two and into the same space make three double crochet. And into the last stage here you will make a front post double crochet. 
that you can see what we have right here and i'll be repeating this for this round and i'll meet you back at the end of the round a so right now i've come to the end of this shell okay so front post here and three double crochet together chain two and three double crochet together and a front post double crochet into the last so now I'm done and I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch right here you can see I'm going to slip stitch right into the space I'm going to chain two one and two as you can see then I'm going to also once I slip stitch here I'm going to slip stitch until I get to the middle here so put another slip stitch one two and three and into the middle part I'll put the slip stitch and I'm going to chain two so we'll be starting our round from here and into this middle stitch I'm going to put four double crochet one two three and four you can see and into this next middle stitch into the next one I'm going to put four double crochet right there one two three and four five so you can see into the next one to the next bundle here yeah? this because it's the bundle I'm going to put four double crochet into the next one four double crochet because once we get to um, um okay because once, once we get to this middle bond right here I'll be doing something different, so stay tuned to three and four. So, right into the middle of this place, right here, I'll be putting four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. 
three, three, four. And I'm going to chain two, one, two. And into that same space, I'll put four double crochet. Let's see what we have right there. So I did that. Um, so let's count our bundles. We have this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So I did that on, on the seventh bundle because it's meant to give a shape. So you count from here to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or rather still. Okay. Right like this. It's not bad if it should be here. It's not bad. Putting it here will make it come to the front. So I guess it's okay there. So I'm going to be repeating the same thing in the seventh bundle here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you just take notes. Okay. So once I'm done with this cluster I made here, I will continue with just four double crochet into the top of each of the bundles. Okay, so I'll continue normal four double crochet on top of each of the bundles. Then I'll meet you at uh, the hand pit side. So right now I've come to um, the armpit side and I'm going to count uh, the same amount of seven bundles I did here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can see. And into the space I'll make four double crochet. Okay. Chain two and four double crochet into the same space. Four. And I'm just going to repeat putting four double crochet on top of each of the bundles all the way to the back. right now I've come to the end of this round and I'm going to slip stitch on top of the first double crochet right there so you can see what we have and for the next round I'll be repeating um, this round so let me just count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so for round 14, I'll be repeating round 12, which is this round here. That is chain 2 into the first double crochet, make a front post double crochet, and into the middle stitch, three double crochet together, two, three, chain two. And three double crochet together. So you can see. So I'm going to repeat round twelve for round fourteen. 
and for round 15 you will be making four double crochet on top of each of the bundles right so you are repeating we are making a re repetition of round 12 and 13 right and don't forget for um for round 13 i did um four double crochet chain two four double crochet into the middle part so don't always miss that at the end so i'll meet you back once I have the desired length of my dress, you can see it's given. So right here, I've come to the end of the round, and I'm actually doing a voiceover because I had um background noise, and I'm just going to slip stitch right on top of the double crochet I made, and I'm going to chain one and cut it off like that so so I'm going to try and um, hide the tail you can see in order not for you to have that little bump at the end so I have to do it that way you can pause it or rewind a bit in order for you to get it so I'm done with the gown and this is the result. You can see how beautiful it is. I had to add a darker shade at the middle just to give it a headstone shape. And this is me counting um, the bundles. And I think I have about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I think I have about 7 of that. So here I'm going to show you how to make um, the button O. For the back so I'm going smaller with my hook I'm using the 4.0 and I'm just going to attach it to the first stitch So I made a slip knot and I'm going to attach that to the first, you can see, to that very first, first stitch right there. So I'm going to insert and I'm going to pull through like that and make a kitchen one to secure it. So I added another chain, so and I'm going to do a single crochet into the next space. So right now I'm going to chain two in order to create um, a little loop for the button, and I'm going to go right into that double crochet and make a single crochet. So into the next another single crochet. And I did that all the way to the other end, you can see. So you find a suitable place to add your two chains in order to, it depends on the number of buttons you're making use of. So you can see. This is me checking where to add the nest. Um, two chains because I'll be making use of two buttons So there I did another chain two and made a single crochet into the nest you can see I have that little space Depending on the size of the button you're making use of it is a big button You can decide to opt for three chains, right? so I decided to continue my single crochet all the way so I'll be doing that all the way around so yeah I've come to the end 
can see I'm just going to complete that single crochet make a chain one and I'm going to cut my yarn so instead of pulling through I pull just one through in order to avoid that little bump just a trick I learned online and it's absolutely great trust me it's very very nice so then I'm just going to tie it off. You can tie it to weaving your ends at that point or you can just cut it off. So you can see this is the end result and it's perfect for me. Like so, so perfect. And I'm just going to attach my button. You can see this cute little button. I got it from my yarn store. I'm just going to add it to that end with so right now I'm just going to attach it with my needle and my thread yeah so um, the yam yarn needle will not do because it's very big so I made it of my needle and thread to tie it off so I'm just going to do that off camera so yeah I've completed it you can see then I'm just going to tuck it in. Can see. Uh, if your button is going to be a big one, then I'd advise you can make a chain three. I'm not really struggling here, but I just don't want it too big so it won't start coming off. You understand? So can see how pretty it is, and I absolutely love the outcome of the dress because it's very very beautiful i like the tone the tones of the color you can see cream brown chocolate and brown it's absolutely gorgeous you can make this for your friends and thank you guys for watching i love you guys so much and give me a thumbs up don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel <laughs> see you